continuous. Uh, this is another fantastic day. And yesterday we were able to explore and the interface. So we were able to know that, for example, if you're working with crowd data, we need to work with the, the crowd data here, create crowd data, right? And of course, if it's points, we are working with points from this point in the shortcut menu, all right, in the menu bar. So today I want to take you through now, how do we, suppose now there's the survey has gone on site, uh, they've collected data and they are bringing to you as the design engineer now. And how do you now prepare this data for design? Uh, I am assuming that now the, the, the surveyor has brought raw data to you. So this is the first thing, for example, this is the formatting that we expect to have in most scenarios. Uh, whereby if you're using, it depends with the equipment, if you're using a dumpy level, you're going to only have elevations or levels. If you're using RTK machine, if you're using uh, total station and other equipment, you will be able to collect data in this format. That is uh, the point, the easting, nothing in the elevation, okay? And then of course, for recording purposes, there is a code that is uh, prescribed or rather that is assigned to every data so that you can be able to interpret. And then of course the surveyor must provide a legend for you to be able to interpret the data. So what's the objective? The objective is you need to prepare this data to a format that is acceptable by the software, right? That's the, the objective of this. So which format is acceptable? The format that is acceptable sometimes, it's uh, not sometimes, that is acceptable, the most preferred in this key is the P-E-N-Z-D. I call it PENZD, something like that, just to, for you to remember. And the number one P represent for point number. That one should be in series from one all the way to the last. Then there is the easting, of course. The easting is here. This is uh, the format is in UTM, all right? And then, of course, the nothing here, and then the elevations. These are mostly picked directly. Uh, by the equipment that you are using and now it comes to the code. So the code is what does what stand for what? Okay, for you to be able to interpret and then there is the D which is description here in the in the point in the format which now represent the code That's the description. All right, so it spends D point number easting nothing and description and then again now you come to using your Excel prowess for you to edit and have everything come in, uh, uh, get everything in the pens D format, okay? So let's do that very fast. So the first thing that you need to go is you select on top here, and then the, that is the first row uh, under the, disc, uh, the code or rather the descriptions uh, column. And then you can go to filter and then you activate filter, right? So we want to filter this data. Uh, so we activate filter and when once we have that command, uh, you can also use VLOOKUP if you're good. I uh, just wanted to use the simplest one here. So we unselect this, we want one represent the center line. So then again, when it comes to description, you need to adopt a description that your whole team can understand because you are not the only person. I suppose you are not the only person who will be working on this project maybe. Uh, so, for example, the formats that I like, uh, that I think they are conventional somehow, it's centerline, I would want to use CL for centerline, right? Um, maybe uh, for shoulder edge, I can use SHE, for cross culvert, you can use CVT, uh, maybe for spot height, we can use SH, spot height helps us to create a very good uh, surface. I will be showing you how to model existing ground surface. And then uh, road edge, uh -huh, RA for road edge, uh, drain, we can use DR, bridge, we can use BR. That's just the format that you need to use and then your team is aware of that. So this one we just fill in up to the last point, okay? We can, we can delete this because we don't need them for now. And then the next thing that you need to go is just click this drop down, the filter. And then we want to adjust to towards the road edge. 
So add he is the format for that. And then we just get to fill in. So you repeat the same process for every, 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 every one of them. So uh, you need the side drain, which we said ditch in, ditch out. So we said we can use DR, that is code number four. Uh, so that's DR. And then you're able to, oh, I really like using caps in this case. Uh, um, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a big man, right? <laughs> I'm a big deal. Uh, so that's why I'm using caps there, right? So after this now, you need to make sure the point is from one to the last. I can see it's a series, very nice. Uh, then after that, you're able to save, uh, sorry. Mm, so after you've ticked everything, you come and select all i'm assuming that you've adjusted the six and everything okay so once you've adjusted that you will be able to have something like this right let me show you that let me show you the desired so this is the desired this is the desired this is the desired this is the desired format so your points should look like this and they will be ready to import okay so after that you need to save this one as a csv so the file format is for example let me just save here and then you save this type is csv csv comma delimited that is the type and then you just save okay uh okay just that right then after you get to save that you close right you close that tab and then then you come to the software so when you come to civil 3d you want to import there are two ways uh you can uh you can click these uh and then you oh sorry let me, let me do that you can use these points from here and then you go to import points and then you get to import points okay so after importing the points you will go to your file. So let me just use uh, the file that we created. Mm. Oh my. Uh, let me just use this file. Uh, this, let me use this, this file. Okay. And then after that, of course, you can see the format. So the format we said it's pens D, just like we and I organized that. And you can see it has aligned themselves itself uh, appropriately. So this is the point, easting, nothing, and point elevation, right? If you don't have your file type, right? So the status of the file will have an X here. So that means it does not recognize. And then if it has an X here, it means also this format, the format here and the preview will not be available. So you'll need to fix it. Then after that, you want to add all the points in one point group. I'm going to explain why in that later, and then you press OK. So after you press OK, uh, this workspace is too big. You may not necessarily see it. So you just come to the zoom here, and then you zoom extent, and then you will be able to see your point. So this is basically the point uh, that we have to represent our site in that case. So that's it get out there uh, get some points get to practice and then see you in the next session thank you